Last name, rank, home. If you don't find state. a job, you have a week to get if out of the state. don't find a job, you have a week to get out of the state. Robert Green, Corporal Corrado, Texas. Vouchers good for one meal, but only one. Next. Vouchers good for one meal. First name, last name, Next. rank, hometown, and state. If you don't find a job, you have a week to get out. Rank, hey, you. Hometown, First and name state. and last name, soldier. That's rank, right, hometown, and state. All right, if you don't William find a Preston, job, you have one week lieutenant, to get out of the state. Second lieutenant. Flint River, Georgia. You got to find yourself a job, or you'll be given a week to get out of the state. How Your I... problem, lieutenant. No, it's not unfair. And I'll be glad to tell you all just why. It's because you're being given a chance to get back on your feet again, gentlemen. Now, I can help you out. I've got work for anyone who's interested in piling up a nice little bundle of cash to take back to his family. The and time of hatred relatives. and bloodshed Mother, is over. Uncles, kids, now is the time we here. have to buckle down I'll and pull together to rebuild our great country. No vanquishers and no vanquished, just men who have the dignity only given by work. Those are mighty pretty words, sir. Only, how much are you going to pay us? I've been through what all you men have been through. We all have to make sacrifices. What you offering? Room, board, and half a dollar a week. Half a dollar a week? Back home, we give our slaves more than half a bucket money. Hey, mister, how much you take for that, cat? We can pay. Ain't nobody's had fresh meat since June. Go on like that, it's healthier. How's about this for a trade? You have any idea how much this is worth? Here. <laughs> Preston, second lieutenant. 
I don't need any seconds, thanks. There are gangs of holdout rebels everywhere, even as far north as Oregon. Other gangs have been captured near Laramie. They'll be here tomorrow along with a Texas group, Colonel. Will you transmit this, please? Yes, sir. Get barracks A, C, and G ready. Right away, sir. This just came in, sir. Gentlemen, Richmond has fallen. General Lee has surrendered to Grant. The war is officially over. No coffee, sir? Mm -mm. The condition of the South is desperate. Now we begin the most arduous task of any war, reconstruction for peace and democracy. The democracy President Lincoln wanted that we won at such cost. Here. At least let the poor bastard adjust. Afternoon, Colonel. May I have a word with you? Oh, yes, of course. Give these to Whitaker. How's the enlisting going? Mm -hmm. These good for nothings have no desire to. Mr. Work. Whitaker. But they'll wind up giving you... These have right. been approved by the Colonel. Well, there should be another two groups coming in tomorrow. completed all formalities are to leave the camp by sundown. The sick and wounded must be brought to the hospital tent immediately. a thing, do you? Uh, where did you find? Just about everywhere. I haven't done much else since I was born. But look, aren't you glad? It's finished, right? Sure, I'm glad. Real glad. You mean you can't tell? I can't wait to get home again. I'm from Georgia. And Any you? you Man, Georgia's a long way out. I'd get started if I were you. Only army of oh. the United States of America. Your having been in the Confederate Army will have no bearing upon your new career. Wagons down there. Looks like settlers. Where are the others? Down up the river. Oh, that smells damn good. Freddy, the horses. Hurry up with that. Uh, I'll kill you. Uh! 
Now this one is worth 300. He's 500. Ah. This one's a double bounty. The man's worth 500 in Missouri and and 250 in Kansas. Ah, but he never lasts long enough for us to collect on both. <laughs> we ought to split him in two. <laughs> He's a friend, I said. He he did a lot of fighting for the South. You got a medal to show, too. <laughs> yeah, but it's a lot to pay for a buggy ride. I ain't taking you aboard. Uh. What'd you do that for? Well... We're pals now, aren't we? If you say. Uh, I don't even know your name. You don't? Uh, my name's Random. Michael Random. Random? I've heard that name before. It's the same as a brand of tobacco. Oh, yeah, sure. That's why I know it. I got a good memory for names and for most everything else, too. But you know what I'm best at? Not yet, but I have a hunch of Wilson. Dates. I'm really great at memorizing dates. You know, when I was on patrol the 6th of June last year? In a cat house? <laughs> no. We were surrounded without ammunition. They needed a volunteer to go down the face of a cliff that was blocking our retreat. And so... Don't tell me. Let me guess. You volunteered, huh? Right. They lowered me on a rope, but I lost my grip. It was the fastest ascent in history. 40 yards down and not a scratch. I found the rest of the company all right. <laughs> Wait. Look at this. Hey. Nobody ever told me they gave medals for having a rough rump. Well, with all that luck, it doesn't make sense. You fall off a cliff, on a scratch even. Does that seem like it's worth a medal? Hey. That's called kidding, Sonny. You wanted to save your company, and you did it. That's mighty good. Well, there it is. The road to the left leads to Georgia. Oh, yeah? Well, so long. Uh, where are you going? I don't know. And I don't care. You have no home? Mm -mm. You have no family? Mm -mm. So, why don't you come with me? Why don't you come to my house? Because I'm going that way. Okay. Good luck, Michael.
Now what? It takes strategic advantage of the element of surprise. You know what you're saying? I, I think so. Great. Marvelous. We charge on three. Okay. One. All right, two. man, charge! Look. Come on. 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 Come on.
What is it? What is it? What is it? You're going to find out. Everybody in line. And keep it straight like good little soldiers. I'm Rope Whitaker. You all know what I'm looking for. Anybody got a price in his head? He better step forward right now. I promise I'll spare his life. Well, that's it, boys. How about it, boys? Don't bother giving your word, Whitaker. Doesn't mean a damn thing, and you know it. Here you are, and you get the biggest price of all. Alive or dead, that's pretty good business. You can save yourself the price of a bullet. <laughs> so you think I have fun doing this, huh? You got a deal going with the army to get rid of us. Stealing an apple's enough for price on a head nowadays. Mm -hmm. That's my business, sonny boy. Who the hell do you think you're fooling? You know my face, because your boys saw it at the fort. And every time they did, they pretended like they didn't know who I was. Because they can't collect, and you can. So you split it up. Mr. Whittaker, I'm killing you, please. It wasn't killed me. All I did was steal a horse. My father, he's a rich man. I used to pay it back. Get out. Wilson, you stay. Beautiful morning, huh? Well, if you like, we can do another stretch of the road together. Good morning. Morning to you. There was a bit of a ruckus here last night. Bounty hunters, or at least that's what I heard in the village. Uh, we just got here a few hours ago. It's too bad now. I'll have to invent something for all my readers then. They go crazy for that kind of story. The name is Bayard Nelson. Journalist is what my wife likes to call me, but I'm just a reporter. So long, Mr. Nelson. Hey, you two, use the other trough for washing and drinking. Over there.
Excuse me, sir. Can we load those things for you? We do it for a meal. Or just a bite of bread. All right. I wouldn't refuse a hunk of bread to anyone. So this way you got no excuse to steal anything. And we won't have to go to the trouble of hanging you. But go eat it somewhere else. Yeah! Oh! Fifteen minutes rest. Leave it there. They just want to humiliate us. You still got your uniform on. Well, I'll eat this and you can eat the uniform, huh? Gentlemen, like some information. Did you ever see this man? The only thing they told us is he fell in the Battle of Nashville. I'm his father, and these are his brothers. We want to know where he's buried. Anything you can tell us? No. And my job was in the kitchen. I never fired a shot. He was about your age, more or less. Could he have been among the Union soldiers you killed, boy? My duty was to fight and kill. He would have done the same. War isn't a personal matter. Could be you're the very one that killed him. Could be. Just like he would have killed me. No, hold on. He didn't mean that. I meant just what I said. Shall we spend the night here? No better place? <laughs> A 
May I buy you a drink? That's very kind. After you, then. Must have been a nice place. You know, this is the first time I've ever been in a saloon. Do tell. And they say wars serve no purpose. <laughs> Here's something to start with. Good. Can't imagine anything better. Ah, what terrible stuff is it? A whiskey, my boy, and a good brand. Hey, look. Sure must have been in a hurry. Hmm. Straight. Four of a kind. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? You're the one that doesn't even get a scratch from falling down a cliff. <laughs> hey, look. What do you say we grab ourselves some fancy headgear? That was a fine idea you had, that little drink. I'm hungrier than before. Oh, by the way, I know a place where we can both eat till we bust at the seams, sleep in a real bed, and take hot baths, all free of charge. In Georgia, by any chance? And you can stay as long as you please. No. I'm not cut out for tilling the soil. You could help my mother. You were a cook, you see it. That was a whopper. I was in the engineers. Ah, perfect. You could be a big help to my father. The minute he puts a nail in anything, it falls on his head. <laughs> I got other plans, Willie. I'm gonna have fun for a while. Then you should get along just fine with my sister. She's a fun-loving kind. And when she hears all about how you saved the life of that cat, she's gonna fall madly in love with you. You can bet on that. <laughs> How about the other one? One man's enough for one horse. Willie! Willie!
Helen. Helen. What are you looking for? This farm belonged to a man named Preston. What's it to you? I guess you're Willie's sister. together. And, and when it was all over, I thought I would uh, bring you this. Well, he's dead. Would you please go and tell my dad and mother? I know it's not fair, but would you please? We'll be known as Willie Preston's family, the boy who died a hero in the war. Only for us, we'll just be a family that hasn't got a son anymore. I don't think you'll imagine how much we loved him. How much we'd have preferred him. Less hero, but alive. We already got enough metal rust in the barnyard. I'm sorry. I'm perfectly sure that staying alive is hard, too. So, Mr. Random, Michael, I thank you in Willie's name.
your breakfast ready. What's the matter? Don't you like eggs? <laughs> Don't let them get cold. You better get out of that uniform. I put out some clothes for you upstairs. You see, people around here want to forget. Stayed. I'm hungry, not ashamed of it. What did you come out here for? Willie. You deserved it. Where are your folks? Out working. I'd like to say goodbye to them. Are you leaving? I'd be very happy if you decided to stay on. And you? Get out of that uniform, then I'll answer you. Maybe if you're lucky, you'll manage to break everything. <laughs> and by the way, just what exactly is it you're trying to do? I'm not quite sure. The damn sluice gate's been stuck for months, and a farm without water is not a very good thing. But it rains in my room because there's holes in the roof. Everything's falling apart here. No one cultivates his land. The harvests are getting poorer. But the animals keep making little ones that have to be branded. I'm really becoming sick and tired of this whole place. Maybe you're right. I suppose you should go. No one can stay young around here. Would you like me to try that? Why should you? Well, could be because I've walked about enough. I've slept in enough haystacks. The lucky times, that is. I've frozen, been drenched, famished. I got a thousand blisters. Even my bones hurt. It seems you can't stay young that way either. Who can tell? Maybe the best idea is to stay after all. Well, that's finished. This is the missing piece. A block and tackle in the right place, we'll get that sluice open. Uh-huh. Yes, I'm sure it'll work. I've been thinking about it. Only I kept putting it off without really knowing why. Now I know why. I was waiting for my son to come back, to help me do all these things. So I stopped doing anything, as though I was trying to stop time. Kept telling myself he'd be back tomorrow. Ah, hogwash. The truth is, Madame Lumbago, it keeps me from doing any heavy work. Willie used to like to go hunting. I got this as a gift for him. He was a good shot. Me? I couldn't hit a barn if I was standing it. Good piece. You don't see many like this. Yeah. Good for killing at a distance. Dangerous prey, bear, puma. And men. Hmm. You decided what you want for supper? You mean you got a choice? Of course you do. Flowers, a menu. 
My boy, this is a trap. <laughs> and it's one that never misses. Well. Here, catch. All right, now pull. Harder! I can't. Here, honey, that's everything we need. Well, almost everything. Helen. Yes? Now, don't forget to get the buttons and the whiskey for your father, but not that swamp juice he wrote down. Get the kind I like. All right, mother. Don't you worry. Whoa! Where are you heading? To the village. Well, how about a ride? Huh, you kidding, mister? Oh, why not? Go on, get in. We walked across three states, and you're the first person who's trusted us. Sorry to hear that. How are things in the country? Well, this year, things have been hard all around, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't be better. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Mr. Any old time. Boys, looks like someone's got a hole in the pocket. These fell out and you didn't notice it. <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. Happens we got holes all over us. Thanks again and good luck. Mighty kind of you, ma'am. Well, I'll go to the shop then. Here. I'll be there in a minute. All right. Morning, Amy. Morning to you, Random. How are you? Just fine. I see you've decided to honor us with another visit, you two. We don't really see much of you in the village, do we? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's the list. My word. I'm going to need at least a couple of hours to get all this ready. Mm. 
No, it's Liam. I've been looking for you. How are you? Now, listen, about those three heifers you told me the other day. You know the black and tan ones? Well, boys, what shall we drink to? To the Confederated States of the South, of course. What do you say, gentlemen? You don't mind if the three of us haven't changed flags, do you? Yeah. Gentlemen, if you feel like starting another war, just call on us. But call loud. <laughs> yeah, you might as well get rich, too. Hey, 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 Back home, folks. There's nothing to see here. You too, Sonny boy. Isn't there a sheriff in this burg? He'll be here, don't worry. Well, Nelson, you quit your career as a reporter? In a certain sense, I really was one. They asked me for a report on your activities. Afraid you better stop, Whitaker. Hmm. Who decided that, Colonel? The people who protected you this far. Certain victories are exploited in full, which allows generals to go into politics. It could be a bit of an embarrassment to a future president if he continues with certain friendships. How do they think they can wipe out the past? And make me lose my memory? In one way or another, Whitaker. Your choice.
Generals are all idiots. Probably because they all come up from colonels. Well, it's better this way. I won't have to share the money. Bounty hunters will always exist. So will murderers. When an order says taken alive, there's no way you can argue with it. And without protection, the only thing you are is a common murderer. the sheriff. Here he is. through, Colonel. Son, even if you don't find her, come back to us, will you? I'll come back. With Helen. They'll make us mourn for you, too.
As you see, we're keeping busy. Hmm. So I see. No trace yet, I suppose. No, I'm afraid not. Uh, random. I'm terribly sorry about the girl. You're terribly sorry. There's no sense you're going out looking for them. With that higher price, somebody sooner or later is sure to bring them all in. There's dead bodies. Just the way you like it. And Helen? One of Whitaker's men is known as Gary Luke. An ex-gambler, a skillful cheater. And that's all I know. I'll tell you right now, Nelson. If I don't find that girl, there's going to be a price on my head. For having murdered you. Spoil your satin cushion. Long time since I've seen you. Have you come back to stay? No. Pity. There's a lot of hot shot young guns around town who'd really like to know you were here. They'd be on you like a pack of dogs. All they'd have to do is to hear your name. A name doesn't last if it isn't backed up with a gun. That's why I quit. I wouldn't think so to look at you, my lad. Did you ever play cards with any of these men? Hmm. He's the one who'd never play with me. Where can I find him? About a hundred miles north of here. Go towards Acton. He's now in a rat hole only he would stay in. Suits him to the ground. Thanks. Oh, by the way, California, I heard you fought in the war. Yes and I was killed. You don't say. thinking how to spend it, huh? Oh, yeah. What is it divided into, three? Seventh hour piece. But Whitaker will take more. Why? Because it's his idea. I know that, but I don't have to like it. Go see if that's him, then you can tell him. Gary, come here, take a look at this. You're prettier in person. For four years I've been imagining this moment, Gary. You can stop imagining it now, it's here.
Where's the girl? What girl? No! Helen! Where is she? I don't know where she might. Where is she? Where is she? Talk! Damn you! Where is she? Where is she? Worth a thousand, friends, you gotta earn it. I don't give a damn about the money. Tell me where the girl is. If you're looking for a girl, there's a cat house in the next town. Ask for Jasmine. Where's Helen? At Whitaker's hideout. Where's Whitaker? Get me out. Get me out of here. Come on. Just talk. Whitaker. He'll come here. He's the only... The only... One who can take you there. Whitaker. I'm not moving. Do I know you? <laughs> now you do. You're pretty smart. Those two men were the best I ever had. I don't know you. And I should know someone who works like you. To keep away from you. You finished? Nah. Listen. For months, I've done the same work. Sleeping in the saddle, not eating much, and that much no good. 
kill some poor devils who are already half dead. And what have I got to show for it? A $2,000 price tag. Uh-huh. The one you plan on cashing in, right? But you'll have to kill me. And it won't be easy. I'm pointing a rifle at you. How much time do you think that money's gonna last? <laughs> when you get to some decent place to enjoy it, you live like a king for a few days until you've spent it all. Then some bouncer throws you out of some cat house that doesn't give credit. No, you and me together, one job, $20,000. Yeah, sure. And a nice big price in yours truly. But it's a lot of money. Yeah, man, $10,000 would come in mighty handy. Let's hear the details. You think I'd split even with you? I think you've got no other choice. I think you're right, mister. It's a deal. <laughs> with the two of us on it, it'll be uh, candy from the baby. Afterwards, uh, we go to my hideout. We stay there till they get tired of looking for us. Okay? Okay. Tell me where it is. Yeah. No. You don't need to know that now. Keep my word, you see. Okay, partner? Mm hmm. Only I always keep my word, too. You'll find that out sooner or later. We'll do a lot of good things together. You've got a future now. Because you're working with Rope Whitaker. All right. Where's this hideaway we're going to? Now, what the hell do we want to go to that pigsty for? Everything worked just fine. You got the money? Let's go have some fun. <laughs> of course, if you got plans of your own, you're free to go. Well, me? Hell no. I'll stick with you. You want to know something? Hmm. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> Like. 
Come on now. I really need to see that pretty face of yours, honey. Where are you? Jasmine! <laughs> she wants to be coaxed. Jasmine! Hey, Jasmine! Jasmine, go on. I can pick off both of them from here, Colonel. You know we need them alive, Evans. Jasmine! Honey! Look what I brought you, champagne! Champagne for my honey! <laughs> Out with you. I think I know what she's doing. <laughs> hey, partner, there she is. Hi, honey! <laughs> Rope, would you stop all that? How much you drunk? Nothing yet. <laughs> Look at this. What do you say? I say you'd better quit screaming and carrying on. What's the matter, honey? You got a nervous client? No, I'm alone. <laughs> Where the hell were you? Open up. Will you let us in the front door for a change? Yeah, of course. Aren't you coming in? In a minute. You go on ahead. in there anyway. Federals. An old account I forgot to settle. Whittaker! Come out in the open! I guess they found out about the robbery. No, they're just after me. Get out. I'll cover you. Do you hear me? Whittaker! You can't escape, so don't try! For once he's right. Wait. Just a minute. What do you say, Whitaker? Nelson! My friend here's got nothing to do with all this. Let him ride away and I'll give myself up. I'll buy that. Let's do it! Now listen to me, all of you! Allow the man on the horse to ride out of the area! All right, Whitaker, come take your medicine. You know what you're risking? Yes, of course I do. I've got to get to his hideout. Helen's there. How are you going to convince Whitaker that you managed to escape from us? I don't know. But I've got to. He's not to be underestimated. And the same is also very true of me. I'll give you two days. It's the maximum time I can offer you. It'll have to do then. Uh, I've got a fair idea how this whole mess might turn out. Well, if I can't have him, I'll have you.
<laughs> I was sure you'd make it, partner. Yeah? I wasn't. They following you? Not as far as I can tell. Hell, you think I would have led them here? Mm hmm. You're right. You know, the problem with you is just that. You're always right. What do you mean? I don't know. But Nelson came out looking like a stupid man. And he's not. How do I know you're telling the truth? If we wait around much longer, you might get a chance to ask him that in person. Damn it, boy. You're right again. I gotta trust you. Hands up. <laughs> Wonderful. the Ritz Hotel, but it's still better than a federal prison. See you tomorrow, Betty. So long. Betty! I was really afraid they got you this time. Oh. Not me, honey. <laughs> I know. But it takes a crazy woman like me to stay in the store and wait for you. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you. You here for the girl, too, honey? Oh, Betty, you ruined the surprise. You're all the same, aren't you? <laughs> Pretty fair looking, though. You'll enjoy her. the girl. Well, it don't matter because I'm going to kill you.
I pay my debts, Nelson. Let me take the girl away. I'll come to you then. I won't be around. I have to go look for a man who robbed a stagecoach and helped a wanted man escape. He's known as Michael Random. But that's not a name. It's simply a famous brand of tobacco. I guess I'll never find him. So long. You're going home now, 